Do not yawn. Do not cough. And above all else, with all of your might, do not sneeze. Okay. Twas the night before my surgery, and all through my thoughts were images of me bleeding to death and dying, though I hoped I would not. In all realness, okay, right now it is, what time is it? It's like 11.30, my bedtime is usually nine, so this is, as they would say, way past my bedtime, and um, I'm super tired, but gotta commit to the vlog, so I had to film the night before the surgery, this is, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm very scared of bleeding to death. I'm honestly most afraid of the oxycodone or whatever pain medication that they're gonna give me and bleeding out is like second to that. Um, the reason I'm afraid of the medicine is because I don't take heavy medications at all. Yeah, tomorrow is the day I'm scared. I swear to you, I looked at my doctor straight in the eye and I said, please don't let me die. Gotta give him that extra, you know, motivation just in case something bad happens. <laughs> We'll see how it goes from here. I might be too heavily medicated to even record like day ones through three, but hopefully I can. And uh, let's hope for smooth sailing during this surgery because I'm literally afraid for my life. All right, see ya on the other side. Today is the day. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna get prepped and then, whew, then I'm gonna be knocked out. But I'm feeling like a cute lunch lady, so uh, hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully everything will be okay. I've just woken up and my throat hurts. I didn't expect it to hurt already. Oh, so I'm in my wheelchair. Never been in one of these before, and they're going to wheel me down to be taken home. So, it's all downhill from here, literally. So, I'm home now, and I'm just gonna put on Charlie's Angels and probably knock out. So, yay, showtime. And, um, I'll report how I'm feeling tomorrow. So this was the day that I officially stopped taking the medication they gave me because it was making me feel nauseous no matter what I ate. And nausea is a big no for me. So I instead started to take children's Advil for 12 and under because it's the only medication I take as weird as that sounds. I don't like meds guys. And that's what I lived by. So day three was actually an illusion because I started to feel a little bit better. I had just woken up, my hair was a little bit crazy, but whatever. Um, and also I was eating my ice cream. Sad that it was vanilla bean because vanilla is like the best Hagen dazs flavor, not vanilla bean. It is not to be confused. But this day um, I was sorely unaware of how bad the pain was going to get. On day four, I remember waking up and feeling so good, like I was gonna conquer the world. Um, my voice was gone, and that's my sad attempt at trying to be Ariel. But anyways, this day I was feeling great, ready to go, and the next day was gonna be horrible. So this is when I got to the worst pain. Um, it felt like my throat was on fire at night when I wasn't taking the medication. All I could eat was jello, but cold foods actually started to hurt me. So it was weird. Lizzie McGuire makes everything better.
occasion to the night. Um, but this morning I did some because it started dark to swallow again. And right now, like my swallow is the easiest that it's been since I got it done. So officially it's day eight that I'm actually starting to feel better. I had expected it to be around day three when I was on my to go No. So you really will not feel horrible. My doctor said that you won't feel normal until around day ten and eleven. And so uh, for me, know that it's not going to feel normal and you're not going to be without pain until like more than a week. It's more than a week. If you're my age, I'm 24. Don't be discouraged. Um, I just expected it to get better a lot sooner. But just trust your body and trust the process. And I really hope that Right now, I'm on my way to my young adults group that I go to on Friday night. This is day 10, um, and I still can't talk normally. It feels like if I were to speak to my full potential, like, like there's something touching my uvula, and I have to be careful about how I form my consonants and vowels because I will gag if I don't form them correctly. So it's really uncomfortable. Um, the pain, it's no longer really pain. It's more like just a lot of discomfort and uncomfortability. Like you would not believe the amount that I drool at night. Everyone's commenting about how much weight I've lost. It's just because you can barely eat. It just hurts to eat. I try. Um, it's starting to hurt less. Um, I've probably eaten some foods that my doctor wouldn't have recommended, but I've just been so ugly. I just, right now I'm talking for the purpose of the video, but I really shouldn't be talking. Because um, I just need to let my voice rest so that I can speak normally. Like, you have no idea how uncomfortable it is to talk. I can't really describe it other than how. I just did. So, alright, back to resting my voice. I'll check in tomorrow. So, like I mentioned earlier, the cold food started to just hurt to consume. And on day 12, my sister made me a smoothie and it was, like, still hurting, which was frustrating. I was just ready to be okay. Alright, so this is day 13. Tomorrow will be officially two weeks that I have since my surgery. Um, today is the first official day that I have not taken medicine. I am wearing, I'm wearing a bathing suit. I just um, got back from the beach, just wanted to spend some time on the sands and I'm now at Chick-fil-A awaiting some mac and cheese and a shake because I just feel like it I was gonna attempt to eat salmon today but I'm like oh, I'll just give it a little bit more time. And I was so hungry, so I just decided to stop. Um, this probably is not appropriate Chick-fil-A attire, but whatever. Jesus still loves me. So, yeah, today, no medication. 
just discomfort again. It just feels like something's in the back of my throat. It makes me feel like I'm gonna gag all the time. Hopefully that will disappear. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic about my life. Uh, since healing is evident. So that is today and I will check in tomorrow and then I will give final thoughts in um in a couple days of just everything I have so much to say <laughs> all right, see ya all right so it is day 14 it has been two weeks since my surgery and i am experiencing a little hoarseness um my voice is still not 100 percent my throat is definitely not 100 percent still um there's discomfort back there <laughs> i've just woken up well not just woken up but i've been kind of basically since i woke up i put on this robe and i've just been running around the house um so i'm having my leftover chick-fil-a fruit from yesterday and i've decided to have some eggs with ketchup and the ketchup hasn't hurt my throat so that's nice it's just a little it just feels like it takes some extra work to swallow. Like, it just feels heavy. It doesn't feel painful. It feels like when you have a sore muscle. That's, yeah, basically how it feels. Um, the other annoying part that I wasn't expecting at this point is that I have a bad taste in my mouth. Like, eating those strawberries and... With certain foods, it really comes out. And so I looked it up and it said that it won't go away for like, there's a possibility it doesn't go away for like a couple months. So that's not ideal. That's basically um, it for today. I'm glad that I've made it this far and I have to go back to work tomorrow. Um, yeah, so, but it's been really nice to just get some time to, to myself and just heal. All right, so it has officially been three weeks and one day since I had my tonsillectomy, and boy, do I have some things to say about it now that I finally have a voice. I want to share with you some of like the main tips and pointers that I have if you are going to get a tonsillectomy. So, the number one thing that I did not expect and that nobody told me was about basic human functions that will almost take you out of this lifetime, if you allow them, during your tonsillectomy recovery. I didn't sneeze for literally, yeah, probably about 17 days. I did not sneeze. No, more than that. 20 days. I did not sneeze. Um, yawning hurts so badly and it will hurt until about three weeks. Like the two days ago was when I yawned and I realized like it doesn't hurt as much. It's still like discomforting. Um, coughing in the beginning, just don't allow it. I, I talked about that in the beginning of the video. Don't allow it. My tip for that is always keep water next to you when you're going to sleep. Every night I had water surrounding me. I had a cold water, I had a warm water, um, so that if I, you, you will wake up in the middle of the night because like sometimes your throat will get dry and then you will really feel the sensation like you need to cough. Have that water next to you every night every hour it will save you and you should be drinking it anyways the other thing is my voice is still not at a hundred percent when i talk comfortably like it sounds like it. it's like at like 95 but there's still something very bothersome in the back of my throat and this is week three um i can eat all the normal foods oh my gosh i, I had nachos for the first time this week i had a a veggie burger, I had pizza, salad, I was so excited to eat again and I really did wait three weeks, well at least two and a half weeks before I um, started to introduce normal foods. The worst part of it all was when you get between days 
like six to ten that was the worst part for me um because it's in the middle of the night during the day it's fine once you get used to the swallowing in the middle of the night if you're not on top of your medication it just feels like your throat is on fire and not in the like oh i have a sore throat it feels kind of like it's burning like it is burning like a cold hot burn from like the open wounds like i could just feel it and it was the worst it's the only pain that you can focus on but other than that um it was it was fine and i was so happy once i got to like day 10. the other weird thing that i didn't expect from my um tonsillectomy recovery was that cold foods like everyone says eat popsicles eat ice cream have smoothies but cold foods around day five i would say until like day 10 they start to hurt so badly to consume um yeah it's just not good it was like my the back of my tongue was so sore and then when i would eat a cold food it made it like painful for my my tongue to move or my throat. it's kind of like i can't really explain it. it's kind of like when you have a um your foot falls asleep and you know like oh man i'm gonna have to go through all the tingles and like the uncomfortable pain it was like one bite of ice cream i knew like after a while i knew if i have this cold ice cream i'm gonna have to go through this bout of pain before it wears off so i couldn't have any cold foods so i stuck to mac and cheese from kfc um pudding oatmeal and uh, yeah just soup i stuck to warm foods for a while it gets to a point where you lose so much you lose weight and i'm not going to say how much weight i lost because i don't want to trigger anybody and it's not about that but um you lose weight because for me personally it got to a point where it hurt so much to eat that it just wasn't worth it i was so hungry all the time but it wasn't worth it to go through the pain to eat that was honestly the most painful part you will experience is eating and in the night when you're not on top of your medication now speaking of medication i did not i I didn't take the medicine that my doctor gave me. I was given, um, oh yeah, I said this before. I was given the hydrocodone or whatever it was, but I took um, children's Advil um, for kids 12 and under. There's a whole story as to why that's the only medicine I take, but um, yeah, that was it. So it might be less painful for you if you actually take the medicine that the doctor gives you, um, I have my reasons as to why I didn't take it, but, um, yeah, it's, I just don't, I don't like putting unnatural things in my body. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do, uh, a lot of things because I think, okay, well, how is this going to affect my body? So, um, medication is another thing. If I don't absolutely have to take it, I don't. Okay, so these are my final do's and don'ts of tonsillectomy recovery. Don't talk for two weeks. And if you must talk, talk as little as possible. I really pushed it to the limit, okay? And my throat was sore and I could feel it. Like the more that I talked in like week two, the more that my throat would be sore at the end of the night. Just don't talk. My voice did not come back for, I mean, what was it? I filmed it like day 10, day 11, it, it did not come back. So um, just don't talk. I think that process will be sped up. Use a whiteboard, use your phone to communicate. Even if people think that you're deaf, that's okay. There's no problem with that. So um, the other thing, that you do want to do is massage. This is something that helped me so much tonight when I was going through the worst pain. I just like took my fingers and did this like right under the jaw. And honestly, when I couldn't fall asleep, I would do that or I would take these three fingers and I would do this and I would always end up falling asleep after like just laying in bed and doing this to myself. Um, don't don't eat pasta in the first week don't eat hard pasta unless you know it's super soft don't 
forget to keep a times table of your medication intake so you can know and stay on top of your medication intake because you if you don't stay on top like honestly if you miss an hour you're gonna be hurting this one's a big one do have friends and family around you that can be there in case of an emergency and also just like if you're hungry or right on a whiteboard can you please get me this I really need this my body needs this and um, have them go get it for you if they love you they'll do it and so I was lucky to have that for my two weeks and to end to conclude my final thoughts I have just a few more things during this tonsillectomy process you can find yourself getting really discouraged because the pain gets worse and you feel like you won't be able to talk and you're really hungry and that really puts your mood down find things that like make you as cliche as this is find things that make you happy while you're experiencing the tonsillectomy recovery it's awesome to be off work for the two weeks and in my head at the end of every day even though i was going through so much pain i was like you know what i'd rather be doing this than working right now depending on your job maybe you would rather be working than going through the pain but um it's just nice to get that break and so for me, I was looking for volunteer opportunities. I was making YouTube videos the last night I put up. I was um, watching my favorite TV shows and just trying to stay positive. And I can't lie, like I had moments where I was just like, this is so horrible. And I was had a very like complaining attitude, but don't sink into that because and, and don't feel bad if that happens too, because I think it's pretty common when you're not getting the nutrients that your body needs and you have to like stay in bed all day. Um, so yeah, just find something that can can add some positivity and some light to your life. Oh, speaking of light, make sure to go out and get some sun every so often. Um, so basically that's it. I still have some discomfort and this is after three weeks and I've Googled it and people have said it takes up to like six weeks to really feel 100% normal. So, um, yeah, but it's definitely worth it. And I'm so happy to never have tonsil stones again. And remember, look those up. They're so gross. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have gained some knowledge and some encouragement for when you go through your tonsillectomy. I hope that you won't be too nervous. It's nothing to worry about. Everything will be okay. I have no complications whatsoever. So I hope I've covered everything. And if I haven't, I might put it down in the, um, in the description box. So, and I'll put some tips down there. I think so too. So anyways, thank you again. Hope you're having a lovely time wherever you are. And uh, see you next. I won't see you. See ya. I